Take a look around. What you see is a world of triumphant progress. It was created through the development of science, economy, politics and culture, the areas where men and men's tough, ambitious strategies have been historically dominant. But progress has had a downside to it. As people are chasing personal success or striving for survival in the men's harsh world, they can lose the notion of happiness. In the turmoil of endless deadlines, meetings and projects, billions of people begin to forget life's true values and their own authentic goals. How can we make life in the world of progress truly fulfilling? Who will bring the aspiration for real happiness back to people? We will look for an answer at the birthplace of energy that feeds the contemporary high-tech world. In the heart of Russia, Siberia, where nature's conditions are so severe that it would seem only strong men can work there. In Salim village, next to one of Western Siberia's energy hubs. Extreme weather conditions and a lack of self-fulfillment drive people out of many Siberian settlements. However, the population of Salim is growing in defiance of the general trend. The first thing that strikes a visitor is a well-developed infrastructure with a balanced gender demographic. For instance, a tailor and a flower shop opened here recently. Notably, both businesses were launched by women who strive to make the world around them more civilized, convenient and beautiful. I certainly brought some beauty to the village. The business lady's ambitious plans were implemented thanks to the support of Salim Petroleum Development, a company that is developing the Salim group of oil fields nearby. The company does a great deal to improve the living conditions in the village. For instance, Salim Petroleum built the kindergarten for Salim's youngest residents. It implements road safety and healthcare programs, supports small and medium-sized local businesses, and does everything to make the life of Salim residents easier, more comfortable, and modern. I applied for a microloan and got 300,000 rubles to purchase the equipment. And then I got lucky because in two months, SPD was providing funds for Entrepreneurship Support Foundation. Al Gazatova, Influence Entrepreneur, Strategy, Self-Empowerment. Traditionally, in Siberia, women would stay at home and raise children. Olga Galavateya, Influence Entrepreneur Muse, Strategy, Community Improvement. Overall, the living conditions have improved since SPD came here and introduced a variety of social programs, including a kindergarten. The Salim women could take their children to the kindergarten and get a job or start a business. Alexandra Donchika lives in Salim and has been managing road construction and maintenance work at the Salim Group of Oil Fields for 15 years now. Alexandra Donchika, Influence Professional, Strategy, Constructive Compromising. Here in the field, machinery downtime in winter, summer, fall, spring, flood season is inadmissible. So we must maintain roads and provide full accessibility at any season. Alexandra is confident that a woman is a must in the harsh male world of Siberian oil fields to find compromises and turn conflicts into constructive decision making. That's great, thanks. Good luck. We sit down with men, think it through, discuss how to get it done simpler and better, and you know, it works. Paradoxically, women populate all levels of government in the heart of Russia's oil capital. Governor of the Hantimansi Okrug is a woman. Head of the Neftyugansk district is a woman. And by having top positions, they make the north get to the next and highest level. There are quite a lot of women in Salim Petroleum. They hold many professional positions, such as geologists, reservoir engineers, geophysicists, production programmers, well engineers, interpreters, department managers, finance analysts, accountants, and environmental experts. 
My primary mission is to enhance environmental culture. Vasilya Abdulaeva, Influence Citizen Professional Strategy, Environmental Protection Advocacy. Similar to these women, Vasilya Abdulaeva also aims her efforts to improve the environment. In this case, it's about nature. We have one goal, to let people know that environment is our home. And if we continue recklessly polluting it, we will soon become homeless. As an environmental expert, Fazilia manages a task important not only for Selim, but also for the future of the whole planet. As a well engineer, Yelena Sherishorina believes that a woman in a male environment can motivate men to work more efficiently. When I walk in, they usually brighten up, start chatting, smiling and joking. Elena Sherishorina, Influence Professional Muse, Strategy, Soft Power in the Man's World. When a girl comes in, it's nice and they're eager to demonstrate that they're busy working. Yet, I'm also the customer representative, which means I look for what's right and wrong, I can correct them or intervene. Women working at a drilling rig are a rare exception, even at a company like Salim Petroleum. Alexandra Galtsova, Elena's colleague, is assured that every woman here must possess certain qualities. We are rather unusual, hardworking, and a bit daring. Alexandra Goltsova, Influence Muse, Strategy, Teamwork, Community Building. Because we are few, girls stick together, either in small or big groups. All facilities of the Salim oil field are managed from the company's Moscow office. Smart Wells technology makes it possible for the specialist staff to control and optimize the field's core process technologies remotely. Anastasia Musorina is the only woman among the production programmers. There is no differentiation between male or female teams in our company. Anastasia Musorina, Influence Professional, Strategy Leading by Example. Selim Petroleum has strong ethical values. Employees' professional qualities are the only thing that count here. In such conditions, both men and women have equal opportunities for professional development and career advancement. I'm happy to work in SPD because in comparison with other oil producing companies in Russia, we're the most tolerant. I've never experienced my opinion not being heard because I'm a girl, neither here in the office nor in Salim. Aigu Ibatulina, Influence Professional, Strategy, Common Scientific Language. During her tenure at the company, Sabina Yagzarova, Corporate Affairs Department Manager at Salim Petroleum, has implemented ambitious PR projects that introduce new standards, not only in the oil industry, but in the domain of event management as well. Sabina Yagzarova, Influence Creator, Strategy Trendsetter in PR Industry. This is a team that's able to think about scenarios of the future. Currently, there are only two women in the company's management team. And men, my fellow managers, never question or mistrust my decisions, ideas or suggestions based on the fact that they come from a woman. It's about a diversity of thought. It's about creating an environment of inclusiveness where our team can take advantage of Sabina and her qualities. One example of such an unconventional solution could be the ASP startup ceremony that was extremely difficult to implement. The ASP chemical flooding approach utilizes engineering polymers to solve the problem of totally depleted oil fields and yields a new lease of life to Russia's key oil region. Since I'm respected as a professional in the company, I get to deliver projects that are totally unconventional for the oil industry. Inviting all stakeholder representatives, including state authorities, to the opening ceremony of the plant that has been constructed in Salim, Sabina and her team created a panoramic virtual tour and enabled the guests to see the plant opening as if it was right next to the Kremlin walls. This promising dimension of Ugra's next stage of development was launched by Natalia Kamarova, the regional governor, by means of a live hookup between the region, Moscow, and employees at the field. 
общеизвестный факт. It is well known that men are great at strategies while women excel in tactics. Why don't we all combine these two great powerful energies to achieve the best result? This kind of unity is the global solution for gender antagonism. Eleonora Senovtseva, senior accountant at Well Engineering, agrees with Savina's idea, acknowledging that men have certain advantages related to strategy development. They're great strategists and tacticians. I'm not even trying to catch up with their thinking. Eleonora Senovtseva, influence professional, strategy, attention to details. Her personal observations persuaded Eleonora that accounting is a vocation for women who, by their very nature, are used to paying attention to details, including those in financial reports. I cannot even imagine a man who'd be ready to look through all the figures with such scrutiny and still be able to find what's missing. Eleonora's intuition and ability to focus on details help the company avoid a substantial financial planning error. Katie Grushetskaya ascended the Selim Petroleum career ladder up to the leadership position of finance and commercial manager, and at times, acting CEO. Katie has now moved on to the position of general manager for Russia's conventional oil and gas businesses at Shell, one of Selim Petroleum's shareholders, and continues cooperation within the company in her new role. I'm trying to tune everyone up to peaceful relations, and reduce the conflict as much as possible. Katie Grushetska, Influence Mother, Professional. Strategy, Successful Work-Life Balance. Help people hear one another. Be some kind of balancing factor to avoid very critical situations. I believe it is my role as a female manager to establish this kind of balance. Katie, mother of two teenage sons and a baby daughter, shares a bold idea that having a family and children is not an obstacle to work. On the contrary, it is actually an advantage in career building. For me, the most important thing is family. And family relations in general built on honesty and trust. Perhaps that's why the relations that I build at work are also based on the same principles trust, openness and mutual help. Katie is confident that female strategies will eventually bring improved balance in life goal setting to society. The example of Selim Petroleum and Selim Village has demonstrated to us how female strategies seamlessly complement male ones. Women's drive to harmonize the environment and find new ways of solving the most complex problems goes beyond technology and business processes. A woman does not come into men's world as a competitor, but as an equal partner. For man and woman together, the sky is the limit. We must look in the same direction in order to find the source of true happiness. The happiness of living and working in a harmonious, comfortable environment. The happiness of enjoying professional self-fulfillment. The happiness of having a family and raising children. Today, we can see how transformation of social customs combines the male energy of striving to progress with the female energy of striving for happiness. The fusion of these energies will undoubtedly tap into the new potential of human capability. <laughs>